In this world, many things can be considered nightmares. However, for some people, the scariest thing of all is the thought of being attacked by a shark. Shark sightings can be extremely varied. Some sharks are simply curious and will swim up to humans to investigate. Others are more aggressive and may attack if they feel threatened. Join us as we explore the 20 scariest shark sightings ever recorded. These encounters will make you shiver with fear, but will also teach you a lot about these amazing creatures. Number 20. Football Shark Spotted in Florida Backyard This man got the shock of his life when he saw a giant shark swimming in his backyard. The man, who has not been identified, was taking a walk in his backyard when he saw something strange in the water. He soon realized that it was a shark, and not just any shark, but a giant bull shark. The shark was about nine feet long and was swimming around in the backyard, seemingly oblivious to the man's presence. The man was so surprised that he quickly took out his phone and started recording a video. The video shows the shark swimming through the backyard, its fins cutting through the water. The shark appears to be curious about its surroundings, and it even swims close to the man's dog. The man can be heard in the video saying, I don't know what to do. I've never seen a shark in my backyard before. The video has since gone viral, and it has been viewed millions of times. The video has also sparked a debate about the safety of swimming in Florida waters. Some people believe that the shark was just lost and that it would not have harmed anyone. Others are more concerned about the fact that a shark was swimming in a residential area. Regardless of what caused the shark to end up in the man's backyard, it is clear that this was a very unusual and unexpected event. The man who filmed the video has said that he is still shaken up by the experience, but he is grateful that no one was hurt. Number 19. Great White Shark Encounter A fisherman named Johan Potgieter had a close call with a great white shark while diving in South Africa. Potgieter was 19 meters underwater, searching for reef fish to eat, when the shark suddenly appeared. The shark was only an arm's length away. Potgieter was so startled that he screamed and instinctively jabbed the shark with a spear gun. The shark swam away but then turned around and swam directly at Potgieter. Potgieter screamed again and jabbed the shark with the spear gun again, this time causing the shark to turn away. Potgieter alerted his diving team to be safe, and then he ducked his head back under the water. To his horror, he saw the shark swimming right underneath his feet. The boat sped over to pick up Potgieter and his diving partner, Francois Moots. They tossed their spear guns into the boat before throwing themselves into the dinghy. The diver spotted the shark continuing to circle close by. As the boat began to race off, they saw their third diving partner, René Nell, pop out of the water before being pulled out by his team. The shark encounter was a terrifying experience for Potgieter and his diving team, but they are all safe and unharmed. Number 18. Woman Survive Shark Scare Rainy Pierce was about to complete a massive physical feat when she got a sudden shark scare. She was swimming the Kaiwi Channel, a 26-mile stretch of water between Molokai and Oahu, Hawaii. Pierce was well prepared for the swim. She had a team of escorts on a boat and kayak following her closely. She was also only allowed to be fed by a string or pole throughout the journey. The swim usually takes about 15 to 20 hours to complete, and Pierce was on track to finish in 17 hours. But then, a shark was spotted. The kayaker was able to maneuver his way between Pierce and the shark, giving the boat enough time to scare off the surprise visitor, but the shark was not deterred. It continued to swim around Pierce, circling her like a predator. Pierce knew that she had to get to safety. She swam back to the boat, and the shark followed. Better safe than sorry. Pierce must have been thinking. The shark stayed close to the boat for a while, but eventually it swam away. Pierce was able to finish the swim, but she will never forget the close call. Number 17. Scuba Diver Escapes Great White Shark Attack The diver, Chan Ming, was on a diving tour of great white shark habitats off the coast of Guadalupe Island. Ming, a scuba instructor and advertising executive from Shanghai was one of about 20 people on a five-day cruise from Ensenada, Mexico to Guadalupe Island. On the 5th of October, Ming went into the water with a camera to get a closer look at the sharks. He entered a metal cage that was anchored to the ocean floor. As Ming was filming, a juvenile great white shark swam up to the cage and began to circle it. 
The shark then made a sudden attack, slapping against the bars of the cage with its powerful tail. The force of the impact caused the cage to shake violently. Ming was terrified. He knew that if the shark broke through the bars, he would be in danger. The shark continued to circle the cage, its fins cutting through the water. Ming held his breath and waited for the attack. After about a minute, the shark gave up and swam away. Ming was able to escape the cage and swim to safety. Number 16. Nathan's Shark Encounter Nathan Granite, an eight-year boy, was exploring the vast expanse of the ocean with his family when he found himself in a terrifying situation. A five-foot reef shark had decided that Nathan looked like a tasty snack. Nathan was scared, but he held out his trusty spear for protection. His big brother, Holden, was there to help too. With lightning-fast reflexes, Holden handed their father a spear, and together they fended off the ferocious fish. It was a battle for the ages, but in the end, Nathan and his family emerged victorious. The shark swam away, defeated. The locals believed that the Bahamian sharks have been taking notes from their American counterparts. Renegade shark feeding operations in the United States have turned once friendly sharks into hostile, human-hungry beasts. Nathan's family was lucky to escape the attack unharmed. But they are not the only ones who have been targeted by sharks in the Bahamas. In recent years, there has been a sharp increase in shark attacks in the region. Number 15, shark attack at 57 meters. While diving at a depth of over 57 meters in Papua New Guinea, a couple of divers captured a terrifying moment on camera. A silver reef shark suddenly appeared out of nowhere and attacked one of the divers. The shark latched onto the diver's leg and bit down with its powerful jaws. The other diver quickly swam to help, but the shark was too strong. It pulled the diver underwater and began to thrash about. The divers were in a life-or-death situation. They knew that they had to act fast or the shark would kill them. The first diver grabbed a knife and stabbed the shark in the head. The shark released its grip and swam away. Silver reef sharks are known to be aggressive and territorial. They are often found in shallow water, but they can also be found at depths of up to 100 meters. These sharks are known to participate in intense battles with other sharks and to compete fiercely for food. When aroused, silver reef sharks will display aberrant bending of their bodies. They are also well known for their ability to perform incredibly rapid and defensive dives. Number 14. Man fights off great white shark in Sydney Harbor. A man in Australia had a close call with a great white shark while diving in Sydney Harbor. The man, who has not been identified, was diving off the rocks at North Head when he was warned by his friends about a shark in the water. The man quickly dived, but he came face to face with the unexpected creature. The shark, which is believed to be about 10 feet long, circled the man for several seconds before lunging at him. The man fought back, punching and kicking the shark, and eventually managed to swim to shore. The man was shaken but unharmed by the attack. He said that he was lucky to be alive and that he would be more careful in the future. The video of the attack has gone viral, and it has sparked a debate about shark safety in Sydney Harbor. Some people have called for the harbor to be closed to swimmers, while others say that the attack was a rare occurrence and that the harbor is still safe for swimming. The New South Wales government has said that it is monitoring the situation and will take action if necessary. Number 13. A tiger shark swims close to beachgoers in Miami. The sun was shining brightly as Kenny Melendez flew his drone over the water. He was looking for some scenic shots of Miami Beach when he noticed something strange. There was a large shadow near a swimmer, and it didn't look like any fish he had ever seen before. Melendez quickly panned the drone camera closer to the water, and his heart skipped a beat. The shadow was that of a tiger shark. The shark was swimming just a few feet away from the beachgoers, and they seemed to be oblivious to its presence. Melendez knew he had to do something. He couldn't just let the shark attack these people. He decided to let his drone follow the shark for the next 10 minutes, hoping that the beachgoers would eventually notice it. The drone hovered just above the water, casting a shadow of its own on the sand. The shark seemed to be mesmerized by the drone, and it swam back and forth in front of it. After a few minutes, one of the beachgoers finally saw the shark. He started screaming and pointing, and the other beachgoers quickly realized what was happening. They all scrambled out of the water and onto the beach, running as fast as they could. The shark eventually swam away, but Melendez's footage had captured the entire event. 
He posted the footage online and it quickly went viral. The video has sparked a debate about the safety of swimming in Miami Beach, and some people are calling for the beach to be closed. Melendez is glad that he was able to use his drone to help save these people's lives. He says that he never expected to see a tiger shark swimming so close to shore, but he's glad that he was there to document it. Number 12. Huge shark jumps into fishing boat. The Mako shark leaped out of the water with a splash, its long, sleek body glistening in the sun. It landed on the deck of the fishing boat with a thud, its tail knocking over a bucket of bait. The fishermen on the boat were stunned. They had never seen anything like it before. The shark was huge, at least 12 feet long, with a powerful body and a fearsome set of teeth. The shark thrashed around on the deck, its tail knocking over anything that got in its way. The fishermen were afraid that it would attack them, but they knew they had to do something to free it. Captain Law, the boat's captain, called for his crew to get a rope. They tied the rope around the shark's tail and slowly pulled it back into the water. The shark fought back, but the fishermen were able to overpower it. Once the shark was back in the water, it swam away quickly, its tail cutting through the waves. The fishermen watched it go, relieved that they had been able to free it. The Mako shark is one of the fastest sharks in the world, capable of swimming up to 60 miles per hour. It is also one of the most powerful sharks, with a bite that can exert up to 1,300 pounds of pressure. Number 11. Shark Encounter in Murky The waters off Magnetic Island are home to a variety of sharks, including bull sharks, hammerheads, and tiger sharks. In the year 2015, the Queensland government recorded catches of 12 tiger sharks each in Florence Bay and Alma Bay. The warm waters around Magnetic Island are a known tiger shark habitat. Professor Cullen Simpendorfer, director of the Center for Sustainable Tropical Fisheries and Aquaculture, says that the drum lines used to catch sharks in the area are designed to reduce the local population of large and dangerous sharks, with the theory that this will reduce the risk for swimmers last year 11 sharks were caught on drum lines off the strand, five of which were tiger sharks, and three of which were bull sharks. At Palorenda, only three sharks were caught. Chris Watts, the acting manager of the Queensland Shark Control Program, warned swimmers that drum lines are not foolproof. The number of potentially harmful sharks in an area can be reduced through the program by using nets and drum lines. A hook is hung from a plastic float that is anchored to the seafloor, and the drum lines are made to trap sharks while they are feeding. In good weather, private contractors visit the lines every other day. Tom Gellings, whose company Pleasure Divers offers dives off Magnetic Island, has encountered a total of one bull shark and one tiger shark in all his years of diving. He says that sharks are usually not aggressive towards humans, but it is always important to be aware of your surroundings when swimming in the ocean. Number 10. David Stead Sighting in the year 1918, ichthyologist David Stead was conducting research on the lobster population off Fort Stevens in Australia when he noticed something strange. The lobstermen, who were usually eager to talk about their catches, were now reluctant to go out to sea. When he asked them what was wrong, they told him that they had seen a monstrous white shark of incredible proportions. The lobstermen described the shark as being as long as a train and as wide as a house. They said that it had teeth the size of dinner plates and eyes that were as big as dinner bells. They were so terrified of the shark that they refused to go out to sea until it was gone. Stead was skeptical at first, but he couldn't help but be intrigued by the lobstermen's stories. He decided to do some research on the matter and soon discovered that the lobstermen were not the first people to report seeing a giant shark in the area. There had been several sightings over the years. Stead spent the next several months searching the waters off Fort Stevens. He used a variety of methods, including sonar, baited traps, and even a team of trained divers. But he never saw the shark. Stead waited for several hours, but nothing happened. He was about to give up when he heard a loud splash. He looked up and saw a massive white shark thrashing around in the water. The shark was even bigger than he had imagined. Stead was terrified. But he knew that he had to do something. He quickly grabbed a harpoon and fired it at the shark. The harpoon hit the shark in the side, but it didn't seem to slow it down. The shark rammed the boat, sending it crashing against the rocks. Stead was thrown into the water, but he managed to swim to safety. 
The shark then turned and swam away, disappearing into the depths of the ocean. Number 9. Deep Blue, the Giant Great White Shark Deep Blue is the largest great white shark ever recorded. She is an impressive 6 meters long, 2 point meters high, and weighs a whopping 2,226 kilograms. Her fins and teeth are razor sharp, and her body is covered in scars from her many battles with other sharks and prey. Female great white sharks tend to be larger than males, and Deep Blue is no exception. She is estimated to be over 50 years old, and she has likely given birth to dozens of pups in her lifetime. Deep Blue was first spotted in the year 1990, but it wasn't until 2013 that she was captured on film. Marine biologist Mauricio Hoyos Padilla and his team were conducting research off the coast of Mexico when they saw Deep Blue swimming near their boat. Padilla was amazed by her size and called her the largest female I've ever seen. Diver and videographer Michael Mayer captured the momentous encounter on film. He said that Deep Blue was not at all aggressive and she simply swam in circles around the boat's cage. The team felt safe and they were able to get a close look at this amazing creature. Deep Blue is an apex predator and she is at the top of the food chain. She feeds on seals, sea lions, and other large marine mammals. She is a powerful and fearsome animal, but she is also a vital part of the ocean ecosystem. Deep Blue is still alive today, and she is believed to be swimming somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. She is a true ocean monarch, and she is an inspiration to all who see her. Number 8. Fisherman Fends Off Great White Shark The water was calm and clear, and the sun was shining brightly. A lone fisherman, Joe Petrovich, was spearfishing off the coast of Perth, Australia. He had been diving for hours, and he was starting to get tired. Suddenly, Joe felt a chill run down his spine. He looked up and saw a massive shark circling him. The shark was a great white, and it was at least 15 feet long. Joe knew he was in danger, but he didn't panic. He had been diving for many years, and he knew what to do. He took a deep breath and prepared himself for the attack. The shark lunged at Joe, its jaws wide open. Joe reacted quickly, and he thrust his spear gun at the shark's head. The spear hit the shark's head with a sickening thud, and the shark swam away, stunned. Joe didn't have time to celebrate. The shark quickly recovered and charged at him again. This time, Joe was ready. He dodged the shark's attack and fired his spear gun again. The spear hit the shark in the side, and the shark roared in pain. The shark was now enraged, and it attacked Joe with renewed ferocity. Joe fought back bravely, but the shark was too powerful. The shark knocked Joe off his feet and pinned him to the ground. Joe knew he was about to be killed. He closed his eyes and waited for the end. But then, he heard a loud noise. He opened his eyes and saw the shark swimming away. Joe looked up and saw a boat approaching. It was his friends who had come to his rescue. They had seen the attack from the boat and had come to help. Joe was pulled from the water and he was taken back to the boat. He was shaken, but he was alive. He had survived a close encounter with a great white shark. Number 7. Little Bitty Boats and Big Sharks Don't Mix Jeff Kerr and Andy Casagrande are two shark experts who are on a mission to track down a giant great white shark. They are in a small boat off the coast of Stewart Island, New Zealand, and they are being trailed by two 20-foot sharks. The sharks are curious about the boat, and they keep swimming closer. Kerr and Casagrande are trying to attach a camera to one of the shark's fins, but the sharks are making it difficult. Suddenly, one of the sharks lunges at the rope that is holding the small boat to the big one. The rope snaps, and the small boat is sent spinning out of control. The sharks are now even more interested in the boat, and they start to circle it. Kerr and Casagrande are terrified, but they know that they have to stay calm. One of the sharks lunges at the boat again, and this time it hits the hull with its powerful tail. The boat is badly damaged, and it starts to take on water. Kerr and Casagrande know that they have to get out of the water, but they also know that the sharks are still there. They decide to stay in the boat and hope that the sharks will leave them alone. The sharks circle the boat for a few more minutes, but eventually, they give up and swim away. Kerr and Casagrande are relieved to be alive, but they know that they have had a close call. Number 6. Great White Sharks Spotted Swimming Close to Shore in Cape Cod A great white shark was spotted swimming just 10 feet from the shore in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. The shark was estimated to be 10 feet long and was photographed swimming in the shallows of Race Point Beach in Provincetown. 
The sighting comes just days after a mother swimming with her baby had a narrow escape from a great white shark. The woman was swimming in the water when she saw the shark swimming towards her. She quickly pulled her baby out of the water and onto the beach. Atlantic White Shark Conservancy has warned of the increasing number of great white sharks swimming near the shore of Cape Cod. The Conservancy says that the sharks are attracted to the area by the seals that live there. The Conservancy is urging people to be aware of the dangers of swimming in the ocean on Cape Cod and to take precautions to stay safe. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. In the deep, mysterious depths of the ocean, where the sunlight barely reached, there swam two of the most peculiar sharks ever seen. One was covered in striking, iridescent patterns that seemed to shimmer with every movement, while the other had mesmerizing bioluminescent spots that glowed softly in the darkness. They were a spectacle to behold, but their beauty hid their true nature. Both were fierce predators, feared by all marine creatures. Away from a distant small island, the sharks swam side by side, locked on the same elusive prey. A legendary elusive creature that only surfaced during the rarest of occasions. It was said that this creature possessed the ability to grant its captor unimaginable power and wisdom. For generations, sharks had sought this prize, but none had succeeded. As the two strange sharks closed in on their target, attention filled the water. Their instincts were heightened, and the ocean seemed to hold its breath, anticipating the epic showdown that was about to unfold. The rest of the sea's inhabitants sensed the intensity and wisely retreated to safer depths. In the darkness of the ocean's floor, the legendary prey slowly emerged from its hiding place. It was an ethereal being, its body adorned with shimmering scales and delicate flowing fins that trailed behind like gossamer wings. It was unlike anything the sharks had ever seen. The iridescent shark, driven by its desire for dominance and the promise of untold power, lunged forward with ferocity. The bioluminescent shark, however, was quick to react, evading the attack with a graceful twist of its sinuous body. It retaliated with equal force, its own jaws snapping shut just inches from the prey. The dance between the two sharks and the elusive creature continued for what felt like an eternity, each move calculated and executed with precision. The ocean became an arena of power and prowess, of beauty and brutality. Neither shark seemed willing to relent, their determination resolute. But as the battle wore on, a change began to occur. The sharks, so focused on their rivalry, failed to notice the subtle connection forming between them. With each moment they spent together, swimming side by side, the enmity that initially separated them started to wane. A strange bond emerged one that transcended their primal instincts. Sensing the shift, the legendary prey glided away, leaving the two sharks to face a choice. The sharks paused, their eyes meeting in a moment of understanding. They realized that the true prize was not the elusive creature, but the connection they had forged. In that instant, they knew that cooperation held more power than competition. With newfound harmony, the two sharks turned away from the disappearing prey. Side by side, they swam away from the small island, their hearts full of unity and a shared purpose. Number 5. Great White Shark Surprises Solitary Surfer A solitary surfer was enjoying a day of waves at the Bluffs Campground in San Onofre State Park in San Clemente, California. He was the only one in the water, and he was just starting to get into the groove of things when he saw something out of the corner of his eye. It was a great white shark. The shark was about 10 feet long and was swimming right next to him. The surfer was shocked, but he tried to stay calm. He had seen sharks in the area before, but they had always been far away. This one was much closer. The shark swam past the surfer and then turned around. It was now swimming towards him. The surfer knew he had to do something, so he quickly spun his board around and paddled away as fast as he could. The shark followed him for a few seconds, but then it gave up and swam away. The surfer was relieved to be alive, but he was also shaken up by the experience. He had never been so close to a great white shark before, and he didn't know what to expect. Number 4. Great White Shark Mall's Boat Engine in Perth A Western Australian family fishing off the coast of Mandura, south of Perth, had a close call with a great white shark on Good Friday. 
The family, David Tuckfield, his wife, Cunha, and their son, Shelby, were fishing when the shark suddenly attacked their boat. The shark, which was estimated to be about four meters long, swam up to the side of the boat and chomped down on the outboard motor. The shark continued circling the family's boat for an hour, but it did not attack them. The Tuckfields were able to get away unharmed, but they were shaken up by the experience. It was like something out of Jaws, David Tuckfield said. We were just sitting there minding our own business when this massive shark just came out of nowhere and attacked our boat. Number three, Megalodon in Canada. In the year 2016, 2M, a Canadian YouTuber uploaded a video that broke the internet. The clip was recorded in 2014, and what it captured resembled a huge megalodon, a giant extinct shark that lived millions of years ago. In the video, the shark is seen swimming through the water off the coast of Nova Scotia. It is estimated to be at least 10 meters long, which is about the size of a school bus. The shark has a large triangular head and a long pointed snout. Its dorsal fin is also very large, measuring about two meters high. The video has been viewed millions of times and has sparked a debate among experts. Some believe that the shark in the video is a megalodon, while others believe that it is a basking shark, a large filter feeding shark that is common. Basking sharks can grow up to 10 meters long, but they have a more rounded head and a shorter snout than megalodons. They also lack the distinctive dorsal fin of megalodons. The YouTuber who recorded the video believes that he saw a megalodon. He says that the shark in the video was much larger than any basking shark he has ever seen. He also points out that the shark in the video has a distinctive dorsal fin that is similar to the dorsal fin of a megalodon. Number two, the black demon. The black demon is a famous myth that has spanned centuries. According to the story, a humongous large shark is terrorizing the waters off the coast of Mexico. The black demon is said to be about 15 to 18 meters long, with piercing eyes and a long, powerful tail. It is said to be aggressive and voracious, and has been known to attack and kill smaller whales, boats, and even people. The first known sighting of the black demon was in the year 1535, when a group of Spanish sailors was fishing off the coast of Mexico. They reported seeing a giant shark that attacked their ship and killed several crew members. Since then, there have been many other reported sightings of the black demon. In the 1934, a group of fishermen in the Gulf of California saw a giant shark that they believed to be the black demon. They reported that the shark was so large that it could have swallowed their boat whole. And also in the 1998, a group of tourists in Baja, California were attacked by a shark while swimming in the ocean. They described the shark as being about 15 meters long and black. They believed that they were attacked by the black demon. Number one, shark gets stuck in cage. A great white shark got stuck in a cage off the coast of Mexico, trapping four divers inside. The incident happened on Guadalupe Island, about 25 kilometers west of Ensenada. The divers were from the Nautilus Explorer, a boat that takes people cage diving to see sharks. The shark, which was about 13 to 15 feet long, came up to the cage and bit through the air hose. This cut off the air supply to supply to the divers. The divers quickly acted and switched to the emergency air supply. However, the shark then swam into the cage through the open top. The shark was trapped inside the cage, thrashing its body. The divers were able to stay safe by staying under the shark. Which of these shark encounters did you find the most intriguing? Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.